Hey, what is going on guys? I am the Explosive Gamer and welcome to my thoughts on Destiny the Dark Below expansion number one. This expansion had three new missions, uh, three new multiplayer maps, I'm pretty sure, and also a new raid. The raid, haven't played it yet. I haven't played the, sh oh, I also had two new strikes for PlayStation, one for Xbox. We got a, on PlayStation, we got an extra strike because we're better and Bungie knows it, so that's pretty awesome. We got an extra strike, I haven't played it yet, I'm pretty sure it's the Undying Mind. I'm pretty sure it's the Undying Mind, I don't know, maybe the Dust Palace. I, I, have, to, I have to check, but that's all that I know. Um, so the multiplayer maps were confusing, um, They have, especially the Mars one. It was very twisty and turny and windy, it was very confusing. Um, because of all of the corridors you could follow and all of the weird passageways that look like you could turn left but you can only turn right, it's it's really confusing. I'll be doing a live com on it next week. It, it, it was really confusing. The moon map uh, was less confusing, but it's still small, which I like. The, both the Mars and the moon map are small. They're fun, to say the least. They're fun. I, I really did like the moon, the moon map and the Earth map. The Earth map I like the most. Uh, moving on to that, the Earth map is freaking is is the biggest of the three. It has um, pikes as the vehicles plus your sparrow, uh, and it's really good on control, which most maps are. Control is my favorite game mode for the Crucible because getting kills are the main priority, and with control, getting kills is also easier. So that. Um, fixes most of the problems I have with Clash. The story slash campaign missions. These are, they're good. They're challenging in their own way. The, they are challenging in their own way. The first mission uh, is a good way to introduce you to the uh, challenges of the other missions because killing, I don't even I don't remember his name, but killing him was hard because when he came out of his portal thing, he did some ground pound, kind of like my Titan ability where it shoots forward and does the three extra bursts, but his goes on forever, I'm pretty sure. That killed me so many times. It is almost impossible for me to dodge because you can't boost jump because of like the weight of the darkness or whatever. And he has a lot of health. He does have a lot of health. After I finished it in the first part, it actually took me a minute. Uh, after every try I did, I could. it took me a while, even longer to finish it. I think I got beginner's luck on that one. The second story mission was by far, I'm pretty sure my favorite out of the three. Uh, it brought you down into Rasputin's vault and you had to kill tons and tons of hive that would keep coming at you over and over and over again. And you never actually got to kill that witch. I mean, wizard. I kill, Now that I know it's a girl, I keep wanting to call it witch, but it's a wizard. I can't kill that wizard. You gotta move on to... You kill her in the strike. The Undying Mind, I'm pretty sure. I didn't think it's that strike. Third mission, the moon mission. This was cool, because when it brought you down into the depth, depth of the moon, it actually got really dark, so you had to find your way through there. Like, it was really hard, and then the green, like, satanic circle things, I'm gonna call them, the crota circles, they keep popping up to kind of light your way to where you're going. And then when you get into the actual light, there's a good amount of enemies, and you have to dodge around all of the green things. Now, I don't I don't know that, but I'm pretty sure they give you some sort of poisoning, like in the Vault of Glass, because I was assuming it was, because of the color and the way they look. Like I said, I haven't played the Strikes yet, or the Raid, but I'm pretty sure they're, they're, they look fun. The Raid, I will probably be getting around to, because I just hit level 30, finally. The Strikes, I'll probably be doing pretty soon with Unknown and uh, a few people once unknown gets the dark below anyway guys hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share the video it does help the channel grow and in the comment section tell me what you thought of the dark below if you haven't got it i would recommend getting it it adds just that much more to destiny see you all later peace